Minnesota getting a come from behind win to go to Let's one go, and zero oh this season. Yeah, gold out, sell out, ball out. Minnesota getting the win. Rob Stone, Brady Quinn, Mark Ingram making friends. Matt Leiner and the coach Urban Meyer here with you. Nebraska, the story here now two and fourteen in one score games over the course of the last three years, and their inability to close out games continues as Minnesota, Matt forced numerous timely turnovers. And that was the difference of the game, and a shout out really to both defenses, but Minnesota's defense kept them in the game. They had four turnovers, as you said, Rob. Newman, who was the best player on this defense, in these types of games, you want your best players to make plays. And this is what they did all season long, or all game long, excuse me, here earlier in the game. They were stout in the red zone. Again, some bad, bad decisions from Jeff Sims. And the offense wasn't really able to capitalize a lot for Minnesota. But again, at the end of the game, when it mattered most right here, Newman makes the play. They make a couple plays set up for that touchdown, that game, uh, game winning field goal. So credit to that defense. They were outstanding. And really both defense. I mean, we, we see a 13 10 score. Yeah. Right. Really both defenses <laughs> stepped up tonight. But there was also some mistakes as well. We talked about Jeff Sims before. You saw the dual threat ability, you saw yep. him at times being really the only thing Nebraska had on offense. But unfortunately, go back to the first half, the interception in the red zone, taking points off the board, that's gut-wrenching. That's a tie ball game going into overtime. If you just get out, get out, you know, get out into half and you come back. That last one, too, he's played way too much football to stare down his target like that and allow Tyler Newbin to take advantage and make that big of a play. So the toughest thing right now is, Coach, you played your heart out. You got to go on the road next week. Back-to-back -back weeks on the road. What are you saying to the, the team right now? Well, Nebraska has 64 new players, 44, 44 of them are freshmen. They came on the road against a good Minnesota team and played their hearts out. What's going to happen is the fan base, which is a very proud fan base, everybody's thinking about the what. The what is they've lost. They're 2-14 and 14 in the last three years in one-score games. The head coach, he's an excellent coach, get off the what. Get on the why. You know what the why is? Don't turn the ball over at the end of the game, you win. So go back to ball security. In the four-minute drill, what's the rule? Get two hands on that ball. Right. Don't stare down a receiver. That's the why. The head coach has got it. And as I can tell you, the fan base is going to be all over it. They're going to be, here we go again. But more importantly to the fan base, you've got a bunch of players in that locker room. Just got to make sure that head doesn't go down. Get that head back up and focus on the why. The why, ball security. What about the unsung hero of this thing tonight? Daniel Jackson. He was phenomenal. Nine receptions, 68 yards, and a touchdown. A 13-yard touchdown that helped them to put him right in position. A spectacular touchdown reception. Tony toe-tapping in the end zone. He's toe-tapping out here in the end zone. That put him in position to tie the game wow. and eventually win the game. So shout out to Daniel Jackson. Nine receptions, 68 yards, and an immaculate touchdown reception. Ball, young man, ball. Matt Rule goes to 0-4 in his head coaching debuts with new programs. Minnesota getting to come from behind win. And moments ago, our Jenny Tapp caught up with Minnesota safety, Tyler Newbin. Well, Tyler, first of all, it was hard to steal you over here after that celebration. Yeah, sorry. Sorry that. No, it's all good. You had quite the game, obviously, those two picks. And then the defense as a whole forcing that fumble under five minutes to play. What can you say about the overall performance from the D? Man, this, this is what we've been working on all year, just being able to respond to tough situations, being resilient, having guys that can just come in and be the next man up. This, this is what we've been working on all year. So we're just seeing the culmination of all the work that we put in this, this offseason, seriously. What can you say about the potential of this group? Because it feels good to start the season in this way. Uh, just seeing how well we can respond uh, to any situation, whatever's thrown at us. We didn't really know what they were going to run today, offense and defense-wise. Uh, so, so just being able to respond and, and, and overcome obstacles, I, I, it's a really good, great start. I love Congrats. It. Thank you. Thank you. Newbin with four picks last season, two already here as we take a look at the most losses in one score games over the course of the last three seasons. There's Nebraska, the 14. They now have 26 one score losses over the course of their last five plus seasons. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here. College football on Fox.